Okay, so for this project, I'll be using medium weight yarn in red. I'm gonna be using 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. Of course, you will need an elastic, a pair of scissors, and yarn needle for weaving in the ends later. So right now, we're gonna make the um, bottom part of the uh, bun cover. So we're gonna make a magic ring. And then we're gonna bring up the yarn, so we're gonna chain one, and then we're gonna work six single crochets. So we already have one, and make sure you have six single crochets in the magic ring. Six. So once you have six single crochets, I'm gonna pull this yarn tail and then we're going to work a slip stitch on top of the very first single crochet I made. So the next step is we're going to chain five, four and five, and then we're gonna work A single crochet into the next stitch and then we're gonna chain five again three four five work a single crochet into the next and then chain five and then a single crochet into the next stitch so we keep doing that until we get to the last stitch. Three, four, five, and then to the next stitch. One, two, three, four, five, and this is our last stitch. Okay, so all in all we have five. And we're gonna make it six loops. So we're gonna chain five again, three. But instead of chaining five, we're going to just chain two, yarn over, and into the same stitch as where we have our chain five, we're going to work a double crochet. Now this will make one, two, three, four, five, six loops in total and then on round two we're going to chain one one single crochet into the same chain five space and then we're going to chain five and work a single crochet into the next chain five space so we're going to re repeat that until we get back around Now you're gonna have a total of one, two, three, four, five, and we're going to chain two and then work a double crochet on top of the first single crochet. So that's what it looks like so far. Now we're gonna make an increase. So we're going to chain one. One single crochet into the same stitch. And then we're gonna chain five. One single crochet into the same stitch. And then we're gonna chain five. <coughs> And then one single crochet into the next chain five space and then we're going to chain five again and work 
in the same chain fight space a single crochet so that's the increase that we're going to make and we're going to repeat that until we get back around Once you get to the last chain, of course instead of chaining 5, we're going to just chain 2 and then into the first single crochet made, we're going to work a double crochet. So from here on, we're just go going to chain 1, one single crochet in the same stitch, and then chain 5. and work one single crochet in the next so we will just be repeating that until we get back around so there will be no more increase we will keep on doing that until we get the length that we want for this project so it depends on how big your hair is and if the base is not enough if the size is not enough in the second round of increase that we did you can work another increase to make the base bigger so I'll show you what it looks like after you keep repeating this round so this is what it looks like after you get to the length that you want and if I'm going to count it I did about one two three four five six seven rounds now for the final round I'm going to chain five like normally and instead of chaining two and working one double crochet and working it into the first single crochet made because we're not going to work a stitch in the chain space anymore so what we're gonna do is after chaining five we're just going to work a slip stitch on top of the first single crochet made for the final round now what we're gonna do next is a final round of working the uh, double crochets so we're gonna work like a ruffled stitches around this net stitch that we made for our bun cover so after slip stitching I'm going to slip stitch more into the uh, chain five space I'm gonna chain one one single crochet one half double crochet and then five double crochets one After five double crochets, we're gonna add half double crochet and then single crochet. And then we're gonna work a slip stitch on top of the single crochet. And then we're gonna repeat one single crochet, one half double, five double crochets, two, three, four and five and then one half double crochet one single crochet and then slip stitch so you keep doing that until you get back around okay so this is what it looks like it looks like a very small hat and to finish off, let me just work a half double crochet, single crochet, and then I'm going to work a slip stitch on top of the first single crochet made. So 
The next step is, since we cannot insert the elastic in here because once you insert it, it's not going to do its work. So you have to tie, you might have to do this to tie to your hair and that's not going to form well if you're going to insert it around this area. So what we're gonna do is we're going to like make a separate cover for your elastic so that it will make it attractive. So after zip stitching you're gonna chain one and then we're going to cut off the yarn and of course we're going to weave in all the ends and then we're gonna make like a drawstring around this last round okay so for the string you're gonna make a slip knot and then you're gonna chain up until you get the length that you want so keep chaining until you have about enough length to uh, make the drawstring for the uh, bun cover so um, this is just an example I've already made one and you have the option to insert some beads on each end once you get the length that you want on the second chain from hook you may start working a slip stitch so that's how easy it is to make the string and then, then just keep on uh, chaining until you get to the last chain and then you will create this particular string. So I added a bead just to add some weight to it and this is just optional. You don't have to add this if you don't have beads. And then what you're going to do next is you're going to uh, insert it into the last or second to the last row, the holes in there. So this will um, help hold the uh, bun cover. So once you get to the last one, I'm just going to pull it and there you go now I have showed you the uh, elastic because um, we're not gonna attach it in here but of course you will need an elastic to uh, tie your hair and then add this bun cover so for the first to second and third round we just kept on working chain five and then single crochets into every chain space and then into the next row that is when we worked an increase so you may do that if you want to have a bigger um, base if you're going to use a medium weight yarn it's going to look like this and a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and then once you put it on your tied hair so you can just make a knot like this so you can uh, make this longer to uh, tie a ribbon but I only did 60 chains on this you can use a different yarn maybe thicker or thinner than this one I have used a thinner on this second bun cover that I have made and I did an increase when I get to the uh, second round so it's hard to see but this is quite bigger than this one when I did the string instead of uh, slip stitching into every chain I did single crochets into every stitch and then I added some beads Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, do not forget to hit like, comment if you have other requests that you'd like to see on my channel. And 
God bless everyone. Thank you so much. Bye.